name is Troy Jeffers, and I'd like to thank you for considering me for this position. I'm currently employed as a CCSD guest teacher. I've done that for over four months now. And I'm not assigned to a specific location, but I'm able to go to different locations and different schools and work with different types of students. I've taught subjects like math and English, and it's been a very rewarding experience. I have taken a lot of online classes while working towards my bachelor's degree, and I've been successful in all of them. And this takes discipline and time management, but I have been a successful online student. And to be a successful online teacher, there's some factors to consider. Number one, structure. Students need structure. They need to know where to go to find instructions for the assignments. They need to know where to turn in the assignments. And it can be easy to get lost in an online world. Number two, communication. We need to communicate with our students through phone, email, things of that nature. Number three, technology. We need to know the technology that we expect our students to know. Number four, time management. It takes planning to be an online teacher. And there's a lot of things that go into it, so there needs to be consideration of that in the planning. Blended and online teaching and learning can be a big change for many teachers and students. And as a student, they need help from the teachers to be successful. There's some certain steps that can be taken to make sure all students are successful. Step one, structure. I know I said it before, but it's just that important. The teacher needs to provide structure. Number two, we need to be there for the students. We need to be online just as much as we expect them to be online to be able to communicate and answer questions. And number three, we need to be there to set goals with the students. We need to help them set goals, assist them, and be able to provide that for them. Number four, data. The data is extremely important. We need to find out who's doing well and who's not so that we can assist those that are not doing well. We have to be up on top of that. And again, I'd like to thank you for considering me for this position. I know I can be a successful online teacher, and I'm looking forward to meeting with you in person. Thank you.